you know, there's times where I would have loved the idea of saying, I'm doing God's will. I don't believe human beings can gain the power of a God without becoming a devil. That is how devils are created. Yes. Isn't that how Satan was created? I shall be as God, he said. Yes. You have to take the Bible in its cultural context and right, this is what I find so vile about religious people. I don't know a place that focuses on virtue, truth, honor, dignity, restraint, self-discipline, community, integrity, more than a Christian church. You don't wait until Christianity gets its uh, strength back, which is, of course it's trying to do, particularly in the US. You don't wait until then, right? You keep hacking at uh, the root of evil. You don't uh, wait until it reaches its full flower and full height. The degree to which communism and socialism have their atheistic elements, it's almost like they want to get rid of God so that human vanity can take control of the earth. I regularly shock a listening world with what seems incomprehensible twists in my direction. What are you now? Are you an atheist? Are you an anarchist? Are you this? Are you that? And that is humility for me. He's sexist, racist, uh, no holocaust, Ebola is a hoax, you're a shill, you're Jewish, you serve in the New World Order. <laughs> Someone said to me, Steph, but she's your mother, and I said, yes she is, and that's why she's not fucking dead now. The bond was strong enough that I didn't fucking kill her. They want to get rid of God so that human vanity can take control of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I can, there's nothing I can disagree with. Yes. I mean, there's, um, you know, it, it's, it's tough. Um, you know, I, I have had a lot of these kinds of discussions online and, you know, sometimes, um, you know, I'll surprise, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very, by the way, I'm very pleasantly surprised at how this is turning out. This, this conversation is wonderful. Um, but I have had conversations with atheists that haven't been quite so wonderful. And sometimes I will apparently kind of shock, you know, sometimes atheists will get kind of this idea that not believing in God gives them some sort of extra morality or superior morality than the people that they meet. And I'll say, well, look, if I look at the body counts, if I just look at body counts, right, and you look at the 20th century, you know, what a nightmare the 20th century was, you know, in terms of, you know, you've got Holdemore, you've got Holocaust, you've got the Cultural Revolution, I think the uh, Khmer Rouge, too, I want to add that, that's com another communist, I'm trying to remember yeah. if I got my history right. I mean, just unbelievable, I mean, killing in, in factories, and they're all atheists, <laughs> you know, I'm like, you know, I, I'm willing to buy that I'm not better than anybody else. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's for sure. But I don't know if atheism really improves human nature. You know, I'm not sure I'm willing to go there, you know, with that that moment. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's why, you know, this concept we're going to take, you know, somehow. And I think, you know, when I talk to people online, You know, somehow, and I think, you know, when I talk to people online, they're concerned about evil. I mean, the, I mean, the thing is, it's universal, right? This concern about evil. Don't blink. Don't even blink. They want, they want people to be good. You know, they want them to be good. So they're looking and saying, okay, oh my goodness, religion. You know, look, look at the terrible things people have done for religion. Let's just, you know, let's carve that out of them. And it's done. And we've made them good. And I'm like, 
you know, and it's a difficult concept to say no. We're, we can't carve anything out of anybody. You know, we have to. We got to work with what we don't got. Don't look away right? and don't blink. Us, you know, and there's no evidence that carving religion and or God out of somebody is going to improve the situation. And and, and I will also state the converse. That is forcing people into religion doesn't seem to do a heck of a lot of good either you know it's not you know i cringe you know i'll sometimes talk to fellow catholic and they're like well let's force catholicism well no no we've we've missed the point right i, I can't save a soul we've missed the point right i, I can't save a soul by forcing them to do what I want them to do, right? It has to be, Christianity is very clear on the point. The point is to love God. I can't love somebody who's being forced on me, right? So, you know, it's, it's, they're difficult conversations sometimes, because I think there's just this, there's ironically, this universal want to have things better, to have people be good. And, but there's a lot of rabbit holes that people fall into. The you know, when I when I go to church every week, it's it's an exercise in love your neighbor, um, because you know I believe that socialism, communism, it violates a commandment: thou shalt not steal. Right? It's not it's not a work of charity. You know, when I went back to Christianity, I said, you know, I'm just going to have to deal with this. This is this is part of what God is asking me to do is is to deal with this moment.